Whether we like it or not, we're all a little complicit in modern slavery if we are just pur purchasing everyday things. If there were a way to get out of it, we probably would. One company has an AI to help detect forced labor and to help put an end to it. Uh, this is from the company Ariba, and the vice president, Padmini Ranganathan, was talking about what it, how it works, and what it does is use different um, different data points that mm -hmm. you could input into it and flag risk violations of, let's say, you know, a clothing company yeah. has uh, manufacturing in another country and they're not necessarily able to oversee it. And a lot of the time, there can be a risk of forced labor. This is when someone is basically, I mean, it is what it is. It's it's basically slavery. Yeah. Someone is forced to work in the shrimp factory or the textile factory or making chocolate or getting diamonds for rings. It and could be the most benign thing that you wouldn't even think would you know encompass that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and it's just like we don't necessarily know as consumers at the end point what this is. This is illegal in every country. Uh, forced labor is illegal in every country. So it is in the best interest, uh, monetarily even at least, for companies to be aware that somewhere along their supply chain there is uh, modern slavery involved. So this AI able, is able to take certain data points and immediately flag these potentials for for violations, it's, it's like a risk. Yeah, it's like a calculated it's, actuaries yes. where they where they have the risk that they know that through cases they found in other organizations that if if a company is displaying these five things, whether it's amount of output uh, compared to declared number of workers, the location, like if they know that that place doesn't have running water, mm -hmm. then you know they're going to be like, well, if you have a factory there, how are you possibly supplying you know basic necessities? You know, based on what chemicals are bringing you, so all these different things, and they go, yeah, odds are that is not a good place to work, and the people working there are probably being forced against their will to work a certain number of hours or for little to no pay mm -hmm. as well. Um, and some of the data is from independent auditors mm -hmm. uh, who are meant to inspect factories and farms periodically to make sure. Sometimes it's the workers themselves through anonymous hotlines. Um, other comes from media or aggregation, sometimes whistleblowers, sometimes advocates. Some have argued that, um, including Cole Gill, the founder and CEO of Labor Voices, the vast majority of data around supply chain systems is garbage, according to him, because if you're using audit, self-reported data, hotline data, you've lost. They say a lot of people are scared to report this, or oh, they, yeah. they have seen in the past it leads to no change at all. Um, Except but, for them being punished or their family or yeah. whatever, or them losing what, yeah. Bec no, no good change can come from yeah, exactly, it. Exactly, you know, yeah. Or you know, following international law. And um, they are hoping through that their system, the Ariba AI is able to uh, help supplant this because it works fast, it works in real time, it sends out an email alert right away if there's something that looks like it's tripping a red flag. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that gets things going um, or a faster response or someone out there right away to see what's going on. I like the idea of this. Oh, absolutely. Because there's yeah. how do you how do you stop this? And it's it's so hard to monitor and it's so hard to not be a part of this as a regular consumer. Especially or, when you're buying from like a big box store yeah. or a third party. You don't know, you know, all tags are, are made to, you know, the only thing they have to say is the country of origin. They'll say just one country and, and I don't could, know where. There could be good things happening in that country, but the opposite, there could be uh, atrocities happening. And mm -hmm. the one thing I do like about with you know modern slavery and then also, it goes along with like um, the sex trade, modern sex trade, and you know all those organizations. As far as intelligence organizations, they actually do work together. You know, Ashton Kutcher has his own organization that has helped uh, hundreds of, of individuals that either were in or were threatened, and they're using similar similar technologies to get these red flags and kind of overlay all this data to find the most probable you know intersection points of these companies and stuff like that, so that they can. Stop it if it hasn't started yet, or if it has started, immediately rectify the situation. At the very least, like you were saying, if a company is knowingly paying a, a, a third party they're uh, in textile factory, then they're in trouble and the public needs to know 
that you know, because that's happened in the past, like places like Walmart and and other. It's shops. always like, oh, we just discovered. Oh you know, no, we just the knew Kardashian's that in, company was doing this. Yeah, that in Tanzania they Ivanka weren't getting Trump's inspector living wages. Ivanka Trump's inspector disappeared weirdly. Oh yeah, so weird. Uh, He's on vacation. Right. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. So it's good that this is becoming more commonplace, and that they're using every benefit of technology to help. Yes. Yeah. Audience, is there a way to stop? modern slavery or is it something that is always going to be a problem? Please let us know your thoughts below and please like and subscribe for more.